and she cast her to God to please step forward and assist us with this traditional rituals. How many shall I do?
Ruf ya Ruf
He's from Delta State. He's not that person, but as he starts to tell a lot of narcotics, a lot of women. His Royal Majesty, I have not been left out. I'm the State Bureau of National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Delta State Command. I am Assistant Superior of Narcotics 1, a dozen John Kennedy. His Royal Majesty, I'm from Imo State. He's <laughs> still there. At this point, I'll be inviting the State Commander, National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Delta State Command, Commander of Narcotics Abuakawada to make calls the present the reason why we are here, sir. Uh, it's uh, Royal Majesty, um, Council of Chiefs, sir, and uh, other present here. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here today. And uh, I remember last month uh, when I was in Abuja. Uh, I met with the chairman, chief executive, and uh, the first thing he mentioned was uh, he started talking about you. Uh, so let me just see what in Abuja, and uh, uh, the, my chairman told me that uh, he is a supporter, a big supporter of uh, this agency, and a friend as well. As well. <laughs> so my coming to, to, to here today is for many reasons. One is to pay homage to His Royal Majesty, uh, get his blessings. And uh, uh, another reason is for, for me to brief him on the situation, drug situation, which is well aware of in the state and even beyond the state, and the effort we have been making to combat the menace of drug abuse in the Delta State. And equally, is thank him. Uh, I have thank him for, because it was, you are busy to his. Uh, to the chairman that uh, facilitated the approval for the creation of uh, area command in ARCO. <laughs> we, we sent the proposal uh, almost three months ago. Uh, we, we were pursuing it and uh, we haven't get the approval. It was after our visit that uh, it was even the, the chairman who raised the issue. And uh, uh, we, did, we did that uh, knowing fully well that uh, the kingdom, just like other kingdoms across the nation, the drug abuse is an issue, it's a problem. Um, and thankfully, uh, it's very much say someone that has knowledge, that has the exposure, and uh, of course he is well aware of the dangers of uh, drug abuse uh, have been constituting to the well-being of our society. So I deem it necessary to come today and um, um, inform you of our effort and the challenges we have. And of course, uh, we are rest assured that uh, you will support us to succeed. As you noted rightly, the, the dog menace is uh, every corner you go in this country is there. When I was in, when I served in Bauchi, what I saw, I thought the problem was worse in Bauchi. And uh, His Royal Majesty noted clearly that uh, the problems are peculiar. So that peculiarity was, is what almost tells so that as if where we, where we are, the problem is worse. I moved to Lagos. I said, no, Lagos is worse. And now I'm here in Delta. <laughs> And still, the peculiarities here are also telling me that Delta has the worst uh, drug situation in Nigeria. Last week, I was discussing with a colleague in, in Sokoto. He was telling me, you know, Sokoto is worst. Uh, he was narrating a story to me, a um, number of addicts, even within the army barracks and the, the city of the army barracks, and the uh, cases of um, crime, rate of crime. And I, I was still telling him, no, the situation is worse in that. So what uh, this situation tells us is that uh, we need to keep stakeholders, we need to work in partnership to reduce uh, this uh, problem of drug abuse in our society. And uh, thankfully, since the assumption of office uh, by the general general government retired, uh, we have uh, recorded uh, Tremendous successes in the areas of 
arrest, seizures of drugs, and counseling, and also uh, advocacy. Uh, because uh, after the launching of the war against dog abuse, and leadership at the table and state level reached out to key stakeholders and uh, we have been having a collaborative effort uh, which has resulted in also calling a lot of successes. Uh, particularly in Delta here, since my assumption of office last, uh, last year, we intensified uh, uh, raid operations uh, because uh, there are two ways to, to address the issue. One is to reduce the supply through enforcement by making arrests and seizing drugs. Uh, the reason being that uh, availability of drugs is one of the factors of uh, uh, drug abuse. When, when drugs are in the market, people will buy it. So the first, the first action, uh, plan of action is towards reducing the availability. So we do so by going out to arrest drug dealers. We also engage in motorized patrol to intercept because uh, uh, there is a network of uh, supply to routes, mostly from Onja um, to uh, states like Delta um, and other neighboring states. And the distribution also is uh, within the states too. Towns from Wari to Aku, Agbo here, Sapele. So we, we, we engage in motorized control to intercept to disrupt the distribution of drugs across the state, which has been, uh, we have been recording a lot of successes. In fact, most of the huge drug seizures we made are through interception. Then we have also areas uh, uh, that are known for cultivation of uh, cannabis sativa. So we also engage in identification of such farms, seizing the drugs and destroying the farms. Then, um, of course, we, we, we have also been engaging in prosecution, uh, sending drug dealers to jail because uh, uh, it, 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 there has to be a deterrence, there has to be that kind of action so that we take them away from the street. And um, I am pleased to inform His Royal, Royal Highness, that, uh, Royal Majesty, that uh, and this year the Delta State Command, even one, we have the highest number of convictions in court. And uh, we, we still have more than 200 pending cases as I speak today, uh, which, uh, which is quite a record. Then in, in the other area of um, uh, demand reduction, we, we have been uh, giving counseling to, to dog uh, users, uh, of course, uh, based on the National Drug Control Master Plan. Uh, drug, drug use is seen as, uh, as a sickness, as an illness. Uh, so rather than punishing dogs who abuse drugs, we, we, we help them to counseling. And um, uh, last year, from, from that July last year to uh, July last uh, this year, we counseled more than 600 uh, drug uh, users. And equally, we, we have uh, a program of uh, rehabilitation. But it happens that uh, we, don't, we don't actually have a standard facility for, for rehab in, in, the, in the entire state. Um, though the command is making effort to the office of the first lady who, who is planning to establish uh, three states. Of course, uh, most states have, especially in the north, um, most states have, uh, I, Lagos don't have, they only have a private ones which are very expensive. People can't afford to most cases. They don't have, they don't have a system. So it's uh, what we are now trying to see how we can uh, put it in place in Delta. But I was told that there is one under construction in uh, in Kuali, started by the previous administration. So um, the the fact that we have an office here in in Abo, 
which is passed and uh, it has a kind it has this kind of structure that we need to, to operate a counseling unit. So I'm having a proposal now for us to to use part of this office we have in Agro to serve as a, as a hub center uh, pending the time when uh, the person lady will complete uh, when she has in her plans. And um, in that area also I, I, I seek the support of the, uh, uh, the His Majesty uh, for us to actually uh, uh, make it ready for operation because we have been having applications but the problem is that we don't have the space we have in my office now we only accommodate only four uh, and the program runs for three to six months and we have seen in most cases that we have uh, are successful we have seen the impact of, uh, of such program so i i really intend to um, maybe within next week to meet with also the first lady and uh, see how we can activate the, uh, uh, the rehab center. How many do you want to treat at the time? How many maximum capacity? In the space we have, uh, it's where my agency here, we, we can accommodate uh, up to 50, 40 um, uh, clients. Uh, so some states have, uh, have a very a big facility, they accommodate 60, 70, but here we can accommodate from 40 to 50. Because the office here, we have uh, the space is uh, enough for us to conveniently uh, accommodate uh, that number. And um, the, the first lady, under her church organization, also intends to even provide sponsorship for those who cannot afford to, uh, to get into the program. So I, uh, in, in this area, I seek the support of uh, Israel Madian to see that uh, uh, this facility is put in place for that purpose. Then again, uh, under the drug demand reduction, we equally engage in uh, public enlightenment. And because we have seen that uh, some of these issues are people getting involved in drug activities uh, mostly out of uh, not having knowledge about the consequences of uh, uh, drugs. So we have been having uh, partnership uh, programs with uh, agencies like uh, the Delta State uh, Education Bureau, um, the uh, the youth, uh, the Ministry of uh, Youth Information equally, because the the, 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 the fact remains that uh, most people who are engaged in drug activities are are young, the younger population. Although we have seen also a trend now where uh, people who have age of over 60, but the majority of uh, people who are active in dog abuse are within this uh, young age bracket. So it's for that reason that we, we are in partnership with the Ministry of the Youth uh, Information. We, we even have a standing committee that's uh, having programs for us to, to work on, uh, for, for organizing uh, seminars and uh, public enlightenment campaign at strategic locations. Then we also have a, a partnership with the Office of the Special Advisor to the Governor on Drugs. Uh, we also have a partnership with the Office of the SA to the Governor on uh, Youth Mobilization. And equally, we, we are now uh, we're also reaching out to uh, Ministry for Women because we have seen that uh, women too are now are equally engaged in the uh, drug activities because uh, last month uh, I had a report of arrests out of 10 I discovered that uh, six of them were women who were arrested six were are women they, are they participating in taking the drugs or they're involved in selling distribution yeah, yes, yes. both selling and uh, um, usage mm. but the, the pertinent issue is now engaging in selling of drugs commonly um, last yesterday we had a arrest of uh, seven people. Two of them were, are women, uh, and they are selling. So we intend to also seek partnership with the Ministry of uh, Women to see how we can you know, address that uh, um, that issue. Well, we, we also need to, whether we like it or not, address the economic issue in the country. Exactly. Because yes. the more that the economic issue continues to get worse, unfortunately, exactly. the young people are going to turn to more alcohol. 
to more drugs exactly. to help them to escape reality. Exactly. And, and this is a huge issue. Exactly. It's a really huge uh, role behind this. It's just that the, the problem that we, the problem that, um, what is actually happening that there is. Uh, the problem that we have is our politicians need to work on investing in Nigeria. We don't have any problems, gentlemen. We are our problems. We are our problems. Our children are taking these drugs because we're not caring about Nigeria anymore. If we invest in this country, if we start looking at ourselves in this country, these problems will be solved. Nobody needs to help Nigeria. We don't need to borrow money from outside. We don't need everything that we need is here in this country. So we need to start being honest to ourselves. These problems are only going to get worse. The next protest is going to be worse, gentlemen. We need to do something about this now. And we have to be careful with this drugs issue because we do not want to turn it into an issue of uh, we're using this drugs as an excuse. The society is bad. That's why the drug issue is becoming bad. If we now start to concentrate on the drug issue as if our youths are a problem, they will start feeling resentment towards us. So we really need to start dealing with these issues at the actual macro and macro levels of this matter, which is our economy. We need to get control of our security in this country. As long as the security is out of control, nobody can invest here. Exactly. We need to get control of the security. And I know that you guys are trying your best, but you, you need more funding. So I really do appreciate what you're doing, but it's something that we need to talk about politicians. We really need to talk about it. It's not just when you go before that, you're doing sa, 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 until you leave the office. We have to, do, we have to get rid of this sa, 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 sa. What's the point of sa, 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 when you know that there's no more road in front of you. You're still saying sa, sa, sa. What will you tell him that the cliff is coming? Tell your ogre the road is finished. We cannot sa anymore. Sa is not getting us anywhere. I Me, mean, I don't know how to do sa. I didn't grow up here. What I know how to do is tell you direct. There's a problem. Wake up. There's a problem. We can't lose our generations like this, gentlemen. Hmm? Please, all the, the conviction rate, beautiful. But if we're not seeing it, there's an issue. We're talking about the terror. Let's see it more on the news. Show pictures of the convicted person. Give details of the convicted person. This person has just been convicted for selling drugs. He has been given five years. He has been given 10 years. Let's it be known. Put these pictures, put the pictures of the people, especially if it's within the state, put the pictures of the people at the area command. Put the picture of the people at the state command. Have a billboard somewhere. Embarrass them. Have a billboard somewhere. The picture will be there on the billboard. These people have been convicted this month for drug dealing. Very embarrassing. You think about it next time. Do you want your picture to be there? You think about it next time. So things that will embarrass them as well. Of course, we cannot embarrass the victims. There's a lot of these children, they are victims. But we really need to come down on, on those who are creating these drugs and those that are bringing it in to the country. Nigeria, the, do you have a way of <coughs> Grading your drugs, do you grade your drugs? Yeah, yeah, we have classification of drugs. We have your classifications. Okay. I hope you're not dealing with all classifications as if they're the same. Mm. We have some very, very dangerous drugs in this country now yeah, exactly. that we really need to pay attention to. See, by the time you start mopping up everybody as the same, it can be counterproductive. Yeah. Nigeria cannot look backwards if we're looking at the trend around the world with marijuana. You have to be very, very careful, or else you're going to end up throwing people who are innocently trying these things and forcing them into a higher risk drug.
So you need to differentiate. So I really appreciate this work that you're doing. I know it cannot be easy. I'm sure that some of you are even experiencing it in your family. Because the thing is really going wrong. The one thing I am worried about though is it seems to me that almost everybody in the community knows where the drugs are being sold. I've had several chiefs come to come and complain. They know exactly where the drugs are being sold. I have a chief here who actually helped both the DSS and the NDLA to locate some of these places. Do you understand? And she worked, as a woman, she worked with you guys to identify some of these things. Things calm down, but then you know with these drug dealers, after a while, they come back up again. So it, it's, it's a constant battle, especially when they now mingle these drugs with the criminality. So a lot of these kidnappers also use these drugs to make them feel very invincible. So that becomes a problem now where the drugs are now fueling the criminal, criminal element of, of things. So it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a huge task. I thank you for the day of my work. I, I wish to present uh, some materials, publications uh, for His Royal Majesty. Uh, this uh, quarterly publication that uh, captures uh, activities, uh, <coughs> then I uh, equally have a um, have a uh, enlightenment uh, materials. Okay. Uh, record of activities. Uh, Covering CGO and other activities there. Mm -hmm. Then I have publications. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I have also posters for enlightenment uh, that can be tested uh, strategic points uh, in the palace uh, just to create awareness. The information is uh, really important. Then I have a, I have a information to leaflets here, and there is a classification of drugs here, types of drugs, uh, consequences, and uh, patterns of uh, drug of abuse, uh, which is very information they are very useful. So my pleasure to so present. Where, where, where can the citizens go and get some of this type of? Where can they pick these up? Where is there a drop place where maybe if a parent is uh, worried and is noticing that the child is doing, where can they go to come and pick some of this up and read it themselves? So what I'm going to do is that I, I plan to, in collaboration with the palace, to organize a enlightenment campaign uh, within the uh, kingdom so that uh, members uh, they can turn up and uh, we make presentations of uh, uh, the one video of the this of uh, drug abuse. You know, I, I think I, I did uh, apply to the general for one of your people to be posted here as well. So I think that if that's done, that will make things a bit, a bit easier because then there will be like a liaison exactly. that will be at the palace. So if anybody's having that type of issue, at least there's somebody attached at the palace who will be able to give them some type of exactly. information. Exactly. Now our presence now will make it things easy for us to work in partnership. Two. Utilizing that, at least it gives uh, an opportunity to provide them with 
Yes, we have, we have. So we have them. That's the that's, that's goal of the women at the end. We will. They can obviously get across to the youth sometimes uh, in that type of very uh, sensitive state that they're in when they're recovering from these drugs. A woman might have that much more patience and be able to get across to them more. So it's an opportunity to bring them. Exactly, we have. And we, we have written out to leadership, uh, political leadership, religious leadership, uh, for us to, for them to be well aware of uh, the drug situation and the need for, to take action and uh, address the issue. Uh, if, if, if some of these materials can be provided at the mosque, and also at the church. Exactly. Yeah. So exactly. when people are coming in and out, they can they can always pick these leaflets up and so on. And so on. Exactly. And whenever we have um, uh, we have an enlightenment program, maybe for the benefit of members of society, also community, also uh, distribute such uh, materials. And um, um, it's based on the outcome of uh, this advocacy visit that we're able to uh, to have uh, some of these uh, collaborations uh, to raise awareness and also um, make uh, enlightenment uh, materials available to members of the communities. Uh, equally through this our interaction and advocacy, we, we have had uh, instances where information is provided to us. Uh, once we have an information about drug activities, uh, we take action. Uh, and equally, uh, instances where people are seen to be abusing drugs, uh, we provide counseling, the report is made, and uh, we provide counseling to, to such individuals. Yeah. I, I think I, I, I made mention of this some, some few years ago. Is there nothing you can do by way of the agency Okay. Um, using something like uh, a forfeiture law, whereas it's, it's very, very unpopular in the United States, okay? A lot of people do not like it because it's abused quite often. But I, I don't see anything wrong with if a building is found to be used for drug activity, the government seizes the building. Do you understand? Yeah, we do it. We do it too. Yeah, we do it. Yeah. We seize the building. Finish. Okay. If it happens to your, be your building, okay, come and tell us how it got into this drug dealer's hand. If you cannot give a good enough excuse, you've lost the building. Next time, the community will be aware if they see such activity, they will not want it in their own building because they know that they can lose that asset. Exactly. But such things need to be made public so that the, the general public will be afraid of that type of thing happening. Because, you know, they, they're more than likely to be receiving some type of revenue from the drug dealers. So there has to be an incentive that the revenue that you're, you're getting is not going to be worth you losing exactly. your property. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, actually the, it's actually part of uh, the drug control effort, taking away that incentive uh, that is attracting people to get into drug activities. Uh, we have had, we have seized properties from uh, houses, naked vehicles, uh, seizing. Uh, exactly, we have been on it. But even yesterday, we 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 made an arrest and uh, we are tracing account of the drug dealer to to poison it and uh, take the process uh, away from his hand. So it's part of the uh, drug control effort. And uh, it has actually been making making a lot of impacts aside generating revenue to the state. Uh, it also crippled the uh, drug uh, drug dealers. And um, the point uh, made by His Royal Majesty about um, uh, the economic uh, situation, uh, we know how bad it is, and uh, it's actually one of the reasons why uh, people get into into drug uh, activities and um, it's part of uh, the more agenda of the present administration addressing these economic issues uh, to help uh, uh, you know provide means to, uh, to especially the unemployed and uh, uh, presently 
uh, there is a plan uh, by the state to to help in uh, making provision for uh, maybe opposition skills. Uh, we want to have a situation where the uh, rehab centers will be equipped with uh, school acquisition equipment. Very, very good idea. Uh, at least it will, so it will impart skill. Once you rehabilitated them, they're leaving with Exactly, with the skill. And uh, even provision for capital uh, after undergoing the, the training uh, within that same period. So we, it's an issue that we need to continue pushing and uh, making our contributions uh, uh, to make uh, things uh, better for us all. Uh, we are all aware of the, the link, uh, which uh, is uh, very much denoted about uh, between uh, drug abuse and crime. Uh, they, they go together. Uh, when, whenever you have a high rate of drug abuse, you are bound to have a high rate of uh, criminal activities. Even, uh, even terrorism, for instance, uh, um, the, the agency has been participating in the program, resettlement of uh, repentant uh, Boko Haram members, uh, and we have seen that virtually all of them are in groups. Uh, not even talk of, uh, not even talk of uh, kidnappers, who sometimes even part of the demand they make is uh, bring a uh, a couple of uh, tramadol and uh, maybe uh, uh, parcels of uh, cannabis. So we uh, we we look forward to uh, having a good uh, and productive uh, working partnership uh, with the palace, um, even beyond the the kingdom, because uh, uh, really Delta State is one of the one of the high-risk uh, states in Nigeria, and uh, we continue to Is there work. any particular reason for that indices? The yeah, indices is, um, number one is uh, one state that has uh, uh, Indian cultivation, cannabis cultivation, and, and again, uh, it's, um, it's, um, it's uh, next to Dell and uh, Anambra State where uh, a lot of um, clandestine labs are uh, producing uh, uh, drugs like uh, tramadol and even importation of uh, uh, tramadol and the source of uh, supply most of these drugs are, are on Sharia so to a number so that's why the rate of the the rate of the drug abuse and uh, trafficking is, uh, is high Equally, states that are also uh, at the borderline, uh, we have also seen that uh, there is also a high rate of uh, drug activity. This particular labels, uh, where there are seaports, the airports, and the, the land borders. I think I, I read recently that was a very, very big cost that you guys did in Lagos. So, so congratulations. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Your Majesty. On that note, I expressed uh, my gratitude for the warm reception and uh, uh, the friendship of uh, the palace to the agency, which I sure it to be a bit more motivation for our officers here. And I want to make a presentation of. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm, okay, my area commander here will, will make the presentation. <laughs> Uh, as you are coming, you don't go to palace with empty hand. So I we have to get ourselves down place we are not able to And the little thing that we came with we have to accept place on the mother as well. Uh, let me say one or two things. I am um, the same of Victor Jukes, DSM, uh, Deputy Commander of Narcotics. I'm from this place, specifically Alice in Narcotics. I've been 
barely three years in this place, in this theater command. When I came in, it was born in my mind to ensure that Apple have it with me. We have been anticipating it for a long time. I'm 30 years old in this job. Then on my own, I said, if I'm privileged to work in, I will ensure we can start it and work towards it. But it's this, we started it. And by God's special grace, the Chairman Chief Executive, Major General Musa, Gopal Marwa, approved it. Along with it, he approved this, approved the Ureni. And uh, the office is located in Alice. Why the office is there is, there is a place, that's a place built initially for IDP. And for nine years, not in use. And a lot of buildings are there. They've given us a session of it. And being the son of the soil, the management made me the area commander. I want to say in this our palace that we are going to ensure that the issue of the drug menace, we are going to fight it on part of the To the dealers, they will, they will know that the drug agency is on their doorstep now. That will be the I know that we will still have some impediment and hiccups here and there in terms of uh, what to use the and all what not, then we are still going to reach out to these meaningful stakeholders in the place. And even in Abuja, making me the area commander knows that, yes, I know where and where to touch. If I cannot repair my place, then I cannot do it elsewhere. And in as much as we have done it in other places, we want to replicate it here. Sir. Your Royal Majesty, sir, while uh, the commander was briefing us, I just want to bring something to your notice. We have a Twitter space where we run sensitization and enlightenment campaign every week, Fridays, yeah, every week. I will ask the palace secretary who will share those pages and the links so that they will get to you. So you know somebody will assist to help people, those who can access social media so they can have access to those enriching information. And also on the media pages, we have publication of convictions, arrests, all of them are on the social media pages. Do they? Uh, so my stake, um, are you Muslim or Christian? Muslim. Muslim. And to my wonderful General Marwa, my dear brother, to both of you, Assalamu Alaikum, Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. You're very, very welcome. Um, well, my wonderful General, let me address you first. Uh, general in many, many areas. Uh, it seems like everything you seem to touch tends to gold. Uh, I thank you once again. Uh, it was a very, very wonderful visit to you in Abuja. And I'm happy to have your men here with us here again today. Thank you very, very much for the approval. You'll please help me convey that message to the chairman. We're very, very appreciative. Uh, we, we do pray that this command will be one of those commands in the country that will make a name for both the NTLA and will also be something that will resonate throughout the country in helping us to fight this menace of uh, drug usage. Now, uh, once again, you know, I still would appeal to our politicians. Um, we're not picking on you. We're just saying, you guys are where all the taxes go to. You guys are where all the money and allocations go to. We're very, very happy that you're well, you're hearty, but the country 
needs reviving. And we believe that having put you politicians there, voted for you one way or another, we believe that our politicians, being Nigerians, they have the answer to help this country to move forward. I think we've all seen where we are now. I don't know about any politician, but I don't feel comfortable doing well and other people around me are not doing well. It doesn't feel nice. So, as much as I'd like to thank all of you for the job that you're doing here, uh, it's a very sensitive one and it's going to be something that we're going to be battling for many, many years to come. Um, drug menace is, is everywhere. It's not only in Nigeria. I mean, America has a very, very bad drug issue. So I thank you men for your courage. I thank you for the sacrifices that you're making. And of course the, the risk at which you put yourselves because to come in contact with some of these drugs is, is a great risk to your own personal health. Uh, I hope you have the correct equipment when dealing with some of these drugs because just a simple touch from some of these drugs can actually affect you quite negatively. So, gentlemen, I, I really appreciate your visit today. Um, at some point, I will obviously like to come and pay a, a visit at the office here and at least see what it's like and, and know what you need and what, what, what else you, you, you need help with. Um, I will certainly have more of this conversation with His Excellency and the First Lady now that you've told me that she's involved in these things. Um, once again, do remember that most most users are victims. So you, you need to treat them as such. Remember that people in this state of mind are not well. You know, it's not until you have brought them to a level where they are okay again that they can start to understand that what they're doing was wrong. While they're being affected by the drugs, there's nothing you can tell them. They will not understand or appreciate. Um, the sentences for, especially some of these more dangerous drugs, needs to be commiserate. They they are ruining a lot of lives. Okay, you are ruining a lot of lives. Um, I'm happy that it was mentioned, just like uh, the chairman did mention to me about the websites and all the rest of it. But um, you know that. Unfortunately, where it's affecting us most, which is in the rural areas, and not, not everybody will really have access to those websites. But uh, I guarantee you that if every month there's someone who can go around and post even at a village square or this person has been arrested for drugs, it, it will get round. It will get round. Equally, I would appreciate those in Agua who are found to be dealing with drugs, the palace should be made known. Once they've been convicted, we should know at the palace. So that we will now treat that matter traditionally as well. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that they, they will definitely know that government and the community are working together. Mm -hmm. uh, please, you chiefs. I've heard a number of you come to complain to me. Sit down, please sit down. I know a number of you have come to complain to me about drugs being sold very, very close to you and how bitter and how angry you are about it. This is your opportunity. Find time to go and see these men quietly. We have a son of the song here. Where you know that the activity is going on, quietly go and let him know. They will survey the the area, they will survey the people that are going in and out at the appropriate time that they've gathered their evidence, then they will take their action. Do not preempt them, they know how to follow up these investigations. So even if it might look like they're not doing anything, they're gathering information. If they don't gather enough information and they preempt and go there, they might not be able to sustain the case. So sometimes gathering information might take some time. 
but please it's very very important those chiefs that have any information you've seen any odd activities report it to them when you make the report to them make sure you get a certified copy for yourself you keep it follow it up very very important equally uh, as an agency if you find out that anybody from this palace or any of the chiefs or anybody is involved in such you still let us know if we need to provide such person we'll provide such person and of course they will be stripped of their cheating title or stripped of any other enjoyment that they might have in the community if they're found out to be involved in such okay so please let us work together to try and continue to save our children from this uh, menace of, of drugs it's very very important thank you for coming together congratulations i've seen that you guys are, are making a lot of busts so i, I know that you're working uh, at least once a week I, I see your activities i'm very very proud of you I know, I dropped it, what are you? <laughs> the, this is the wrong place. <laughs> so gentlemen, no problem, we'll go outside and have a good photograph. Thank you so much. Very very much. Just keeping everything calm. You know, Maker. Thank you very very much. Maker. Monday though. No? All right. Let me tell you very very briefly. You guys know where all the drug dealers are. You understand? They're your friends. They're my son. They're my daughter. But the thing is really affecting us badly, and it's so tied to all this kidnapping of the let it just reduce it. Won't it? Okay. Information that you have, tell your friends, your boys that are doing it. If you don't want it, now we here. Let them reduce it. If you notice anytime there's kidnapping, the drug matter goes up and vice versa. Okay. So where you can help the agency, let them know where these things are going so that they move on from here. Unfortunately, because of the way Apple is, everything comes into Apple. Because we're at the center, everywhere passes through Apple. So all the kidnapping comes here, all the drug. So I know you're trying, but please try. I don't want this drug to here. So thank you. So thank you very, very much. Monday. And this drug, what did they say for Apple? And this one is allowed. They never give us information. They know anything concerning kidnapper and any other thing. Have I give us support? Make we stop them today. As you're leaving here now, give him the information. Get them. Mm -hmm. And work together with this. Tutu mm -hmm. Tata! Yare! 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 Yare!
Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.